Welcome to hell. This is Chippenham. Chippenham? Chippenham. Seems quite bad saying the word hell with a small child walking past sorry, looking very, very happy that. there. I, I, sorry. But it's the depths of hell. <laughs> Do you know what? We've been here once. And um, then we're turning to Pintor today. Years ago, years ago, years ago. Like years. And we years. didn't do very well then, so we thought, you know, we're going to give it, we're in the area, we're going to give it another go. We're going to, we're going to give it all we've got. And boy, oh boy. Did we give it all we got. <laughs> we came up with a few bits and pieces, but we thought we'd take you along for the ride. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and sometimes you go to Chippenham. And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's quite a long street, if I'm honest with you. Um, it's a strange thing. Halfway down, it's quite commercial. At the top, it's not. At the bottom, it is. And it's like the most bizarre town I've ever been to. But I did love the woodwork. There's a bike in the window. Woodwork yes. on this building. We both commented on the woodwork, I yeah, think, because we went in. Lovely woodwork. So this is Julian's house. Like a Julian's house, there's a Wimbledon backpack. The Ralph Lauren Wimbledon stuff goes for a lot of money, if you ever stumble across that. Yeah, for anyone who knows, uh, Ralph Lauren sponsor um, Wimbledon pretty much every year and have them for years years now so any of the um the kind of the generic Wimbledon stuff goes up like from Ralph goes well anyway but if you can get dated stuff like as in they sometimes for example they will put the year on it as you've well got, as the Ralph logo an, and the Wimbledon logo that's the stuff you really want you've got I tried to get out like seven times you've got a umpire's jacket a match worn umpire's jacket not like the ones they sell in the shop it was worn by the guy sitting on the umpire stand yeah like I'm above that life Austin likes Ralph Lauren do you know it's not for sale it's his personal jacket <laughs> I'm, all, I'm also a massive tennis fan no what? not at all what? not at all <laughs> I was looking at them thinking he's I've lying I've never no. seen you watch tennis not ever at all. could you tell me one tennis player um do you know what like uh Tim Henman obviously Tim Henman oh god but you know I'll tell you I'll tell you, I'll tell, I'll tell, I'll tell, I'll tell you how, how old I am my favorite tennis player of all time oh. Andre Agassi Oh God! Oh, I can't leave. On a side note, his Nike stuff, his vintage stuff from the nineties, late eighties, yeah. goes for a song. And Fred Perry does all right too. As well, he's made a career off that. Hasn't he? Yeah, he's you know done all right. Mean? I think people forget that. I think people forget his roots. Yep. Anyway, back to it. We're non tennis, non tennis uh, merchandise. Talk to me. Um. So we're in this shop and we're looking at um, clothing. Clothing. Now, menswear. Tell me about menswear at the moment, Oz. How are you finding menswear? Uh, do you know, across the board, I'm finding uh, menswear uh, as dry as the Sahara Desert in, like, 90-degree heat with no shade, no water, and, um, yeah. I'm kind of hoping just to, like, come across... I don't, I don't know, women's wear as well. I just want to come across something, like, grizzier, like one woman who's dropped off seven pairs of grizzier trousers. So this was really random, and I feel like it was... Well, I know it was a totally reworked jacket. It, the stitching was just terrible. The whole thing was just badly done. Oh, well, that's um, positive. But, keep, keep it light. Keep yeah. it upbeat there. Yeah, I hated that item. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. I wonder if I say it, like, in, in a kind of upbeat voice. I don't want to do an upbeat voice about it, really. That I hated it. It would be better. But what are you doing there? Anything? You look um, suspicious. <laughs> I'm looking at ladies' trousers. I'm particularly into ladies' trousers at the moment. I've been buying sea salt jeans a lot, and they've been selling... You have been. A lot. Actually, corduroys uh, and, ge- and denim, obviously denim jeans, but from uh, Seasalt have been doing pretty well for us. 100%. I'm doing really well with trousers in general, and I don't really like this in them, um, but <laughs> but they're selling really well. So I, I'm heading straight to those sections at the moment. Knitwear for me is slightly on the out. Slightly, slightly. Is it? Yeah, I feel like cherry shots aren't putting as much knitwear out. Is it like when kind of just after the summer and like they get the knits out? They, yeah. As in they put them out on the racks. Yes. Now they're kind of drawing them back like, in and not, like, not putting them back out. Yeah, I feel like tops and like shirts are like making it a looks real... Looks like there's a hedgehog in the window there. Real it's a impact. Hat. Oh, I thought it was a cat. <laughs> See, it's not an animal. This is a blue cross it is indeed um i was actually looking at cutlery in this shop we're keeping it light today we're keeping it random if you're not feeling our mood then move on over i was looking (laughs) at cutlery um has anyone ever done well with cutlery no i i know talking of cutlery i know we're luxury specialists but you know sometimes i like i like to find luxury luxury cutlery i'd be involved luxury homeware um and i i've particularly been into looking for cutlery yeah, that's all I got to say. I don't know if if there's like a stigma between about pre-owned cutlery. I I, I don't. do. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I do, and I'm guessing the mouths, like... food, hygiene. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm not. I'll be honest. Like, not that I have any. Like, I'm sure you can. You can. You can kind of 
clean the cutlery or there's a way to disinfect it but like i'm just not a cutlery kind of guy i'm not buying my cutlery from a, a i'm not, not mugging anyone who else no knows, but, what, but if like, I, what if you found like 700 pound cutlery from i'm gonna sell that mother that's what i'm gonna do anyway so this is a max mara trench uh the condition wasn't there this is seven pounds so it's not a bad price um i was trying to work out if it was meant to have a belt because it had no belt loose but it looked like it was missing a belt no do you know what style you know what max mara actually sometimes they do like a oh look that's why we didn't buy it there's a lot of fading in the collar you you chose not to touch that stain today i I left the stainage there um max mara come sometimes if that for example that was like a kind of heavy cotton or canvas that coat sometimes they come with like a nylon belt as well which like um yes, like saying. a two-tone kind of fabric so what you're saying is there was because, no bloops yeah but sometimes they don't have them they're like no, like tie-tie that's what i'm saying i think i think definitely was missing one to answer your question you are correct one thousand however Bethany. i do think you could have sold it as like a, a light over jacket in a relaxed fit seven pounds if you're just like dipping your toes into designer wear yeah you could enough. have had a, a healthy return on it um i personally because we like i like to stock a quality mm. um i wouldn't put it in our sh- our shop particularly um austin was looking at these cute tiny boots do you know what a light um well, I, I, I just think good uh, good equestrian boots, especially small sizes, you don't see them very often, so they usually go for good money. The brand was an okay brand, but it wasn't anything special. But they were £3.50, so if you're going to use them for yourself or your small one, that's a bargain. Baby Blundstones, can you imagine? Yeah, they do baby Blundstones. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. I've seen them with my eyes. You've Thank seen them with your peepers? You. Okay, moving on. What else you got for me? I might sis? actually um, I might actually find something in a minute. There we go. Thank you. So this is Save Mulberry, so... We were talking about Mulberry the other day and how Mulberry is incredibly boring, but there are exception- fest, there are honest. exceptional pieces of Mulberry clothing that will do well. And this, this is one of them. It's tartan, firstly, one, great. Secondly... It's giving me Vivian Westwood vibes, it I can't is, lie. It's Look vibrant. It. Ruffles, it's red and blue. Tartan. Uh, um, early 2000s label. It's got pearl buttons. Look at the sleeves. It's got a ruffle to die for. Uh, I f- if, like... I can't. It's great. Ten pounds. I'm gonna list it. I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, and I guarantee that it will hit somewhere around it. I'm gonna list it for 110 pound. See, me and Bethany have because it whole... would have been very high retail. It would have been. Me and Bethany have this whole thing that sometimes um you don't have to necessarily get um. So, for example, Max Mara, just go back to that brand. They're known for coats, they're known for cashmere, they're known for the wrap coats, they're known for kind of that kind of stuff, right? Teddy bear but, coats. Teddy bear coats. By the same token, you don't have to... Some of the stuff from the, from the brand doesn't go as well. By the same token, if you have a standout piece, not necessarily one of their coats, but a standout piece from that brand, and you've got basically, you've got kind of... You, you, hit two, you, you hit two areas. So you hit a standout piece of clothing, and you hit that it's got a good brand on it or with it. Like, that instantly makes it more, um, I don't know, desirable. A hundred percent. Yeah, rather than just being a plain Jane kind of basic piece, I'm saying. A hundred percent. I just saw the pillows there and I thought, wow, I wish I had looked at those cushions. You found something actually very, very, very nice. Here as well. <gasps> That's quite fun. It says I'm the stick. That's actually quite fun if you're a Top Gear guy. Okay. Um, thanks for that. I think that's quite a like a little fun thing. That will be a you know, future collectible. Hilarious. That, it, that's what that is. In twenty years. Downright time, hilarity. In twenty years' time, yep. people will be buying an I'm a stick t shirt. Do, do you know sometimes I do actually think about like um oh what did I see today? Uh, future classics. Yeah, I do think about future mm. classics. Yeah. This Talk is a me. now classic. So I found this in the lady section, I passed it. I was concerned that I had to undo these yeah, color things to make uh, sure they hadn't hidden something. Someone had worn them like to be like cool and trendy. Anyway, this is a <laughs> Valentino. Is it it's a Miss is Miss it, V. Miss V uh by Valentino. I believe I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it off the top of my head, but I will correct myself. I believe it's Look 70s, at the buttons too. There's a V in the buttons. Seventies, eighties. Yeah, it might 80s, be a bit earlier than 80s. that. Eighties. Oh, okay, there we go. Wonderful. Um it's just a black blazer, but it's Valentino. Um a red very good example of um how name brands are fantastic this lady uh, was very helpful in here i must oh, say that's nice good um we paid 6.99 or yeah. 8.99 6.99 i will be listing it i'm it gonna push now. those comps because that's what i do i'm also gonna check vestiaire and i'm gonna check other platforms along with uh like first dibs etc etc and see where the market is sitting on um the desirability factor for i would also say that you know. that particular blazer was a lot more wearable than some of the ones in the in the listings i showed for on ebay just then yes so i also think you do have that chance to kind of up that that, that value that was just kind of an overall kind of shot 
for anyone who maybe doesn't know, because that, was, that wasn't just Valentino to clarify. Yes. That was Miss V, the, the, the listings yes. were Miss V. Sometimes you have to be a bit more specific with your things um, and so, uh, with your <laughs> things? Uh, looking at comps. I know some people do like broad, like we'll just search Valentino. There's a very, there's a huge amount of differences between the different brands, different ages, different pieces, different, I don't know, everything. There's just so much. And sometimes if you're, if you're, label doesn't come up then don't just plonk it with all no. the others yeah, yeah. you've set your price it means that you it means there's none listed exactly that. in america if you watch any of the american uh, um pickers you know the first thing they say if nothing comes up yeah i can set the market there you go and why are we doing that as opposed to just joining joining what is a lower market i'm not here to undercut i'm here to be the top this is a pair of sperry shoes S P E R R Y. uh they're kind of boat they're known for boat shoes they're known for kind of well, any boating um stuff really they go really well these are really nice condition they were 10 pounds just need to kind of wipe over i feel like these have been worn but like not worn like crazy i feel like the small person just rolled her eyes at your sperries 100 mm-hmm. percent. like the sass is unbelievable these are really nice they're new they're newer as well newer label they're really like do you know when you just something sort of a peak quality yeah i, I gotta say they were really really nice so that was that for today. We have a decent one coming tomorrow, which actually might be some quite, well, I would say controversial somewhat. And we've got a long chunk of weekend content planned for you. So if you stick with us, then we'll stick with you. and we'll make Everyone it, will stick together. We'll make it through this. Bye.